Transforming your Adobe Photoshop designs into animated HTML5 ad content has never been easier with Vuest, a powerful web-based ad production tool. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to upload separate layer TIFF files from Photoshop to Vuest, add animation, and use the slides feature to merge the designs into one creative. So let's jump in and I'll show you how this works. On my screen, I have two separate layered TIFF files in Photoshop. This ad will have two slides, so I have two separate designs. Here's the first, Lumia Ad 1, and here's the second, Lumia Ad 2. Quickly looking at the layers panel, you can see I have all the elements on different layers and named accordingly. For example, Lumia Logo, Lumia Bottle, Tropical Leaves, and so on. It's also important to note that layers that contain shapes or gradient elements like I have here must be converted to smart objects. So for example, I do have a gradient fill here and it's been converted to a smart object. This can be done by right clicking the layer and choosing convert to smart object. Skipping this step will result in the content not appearing when uploading the layer TIFF to Vuest. Next, let's jump over to Vuest and upload the TIFF files. I'm in the Views dashboard now and to upload the TIFF files from Photoshop, click on the menu icon and then choose Upload Design. Here I could choose the first ad, now you can only choose one at a time so I'm going to select Lumia Ad onetiff and click Open. That'll take a few moments to upload to the Views platform. Once it's been uploaded, I can change the title, I could select it from the top and change it to something like Lumia 300 by 600 ad and press enter and you can see that the title has been updated. Now I can click the Vuest logo to go back to the main dashboard and you can see that my ad has been saved here. I'll click the menu icon again and choose upload design. This time I'll choose Lumia Ad 2 and click open. And once again that'll take just a few moments to upload the second design to the Vuest dashboard. Now in this case, I'm just going to hover over the design and click edit and that will open in the Vuest editor. I'm going to adjust the main image just a bit because it was shifted off. Everything else stayed in place, so something like that looks okay. I'm going to select all the content, and on a Mac, I'm going to hold Command and press C. That's Control C on Windows. And I'm going to click on the Views logo once again to go back to the dashboard. I'm going to click on Lumia 300 by 600 Add. And in the top menu here, you can see that I have a drop down that says Slide 1. Currently, there's only one slide in this project. I want to add another slide for that second design. So I'm going to click Add Slide, and you can see that adds a second slide to the project. I'm going to click on it once, and that will open it up. And then, while holding Command on a Mac, that's Control on Windows, I'll press V on my keyboard to paste the design in. So if I click away, you can see now I have two slides in this project. There's the first slide. And there's the second slide in this Lumia ad design. Now this project currently only has two slides, but you can add as many slides as you want by clicking add slide. You can also duplicate slides by clicking this icon here, and you can see that duplicates the slide. You can also reorder the slides within the panel, and if you'd like to delete them, just click the X icon to remove them from the project. I went ahead and prepared a file with two slides using the same content. And next, I'll show you how to add animation to both slides. I'm currently in the design editor, which is where I can make any design changes before starting the animation process. Now, because I previously designed this in Photoshop, I can move on to the animation stage by clicking the animation tab located at the top of the screen. The ad is currently zoomed in at 125%. I'll click on the zoom out icon a couple times to zoom out, and that just gives me a clearer view as I add the animation. I want to begin by adding an animation to the moisturizing cream bottle here in the layout. So I'm going to scroll down and you can see a preview of the bottle here in the timeline. I'm going to click anywhere in that layer and that will bring up the animation window where you have three tabs at the very top. Appearance, Accents, and Disappearance. In this case, I want to leave it on Appearance and I want to choose Slide In Down because I want the bottle to zoom in or slide in from the bottom to the top. So I'll go ahead and choose that, and you can see it adds the animation to the timeline. We just have to adjust the positioning and the duration. 
So currently it's set to one second duration, which is just fine. And in this case, I'm just gonna click and drag it to the very start of the timeline. In the animation control window here, you could see that it's starting at zero milliseconds or zero seconds, and that's the very beginning of the timeline. And the duration is 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. You can also see that it does say one second here. I wanna add a secondary animation. In this case, I'm gonna click on accents. And from the accents animation options, I'll choose zoom. I want to start this animation immediately after the slide and down. So in this case, I'm going to set it to 1001 milliseconds and you can see it's going to start immediately after. The duration will be 4000 milliseconds, which equates to four seconds. And you can see that entire sequence now is five seconds and I can click the play icon to preview it in real time. The animations look great and it's exactly what I want. I wanted to take this moment to share a special offer with you. For a limited time, visit views.com and use code ANGELO62 and get 62% off a standard monthly plan for 12 months. Views is an ad production powerhouse tool that allows you to create, adapt, and deliver quality content at scale faster than ever. It's perfect for solo designers or marketing teams juggling hundreds of assets on a daily basis. So don't miss out on this great deal. Next, I'd like to animate the logo in the ad, which is located here at the bottom of the timeline. So once again, I'll click anywhere in that layer and that will bring up the animations window. And in this case, I wanna do a vertical flip. So if I scroll down, you could see vertical flip you also have a horizontal flip. In this case, I'll choose vertical. I'll go back to my animation controls and you can see currently it's starting at 367 milliseconds. I want this to start at a half a second. So I'll type in 500 and I'll leave the duration set to one second. Next, I want to animate the main title. It's a little hard to see here, but you could see it in the timeline. It's the third item. So I'll click anywhere in that sequence in that timeline. And sticking with the slide in theme, I'm going to choose slide in left. And I want this to start at 1250 milliseconds. And the duration, once again, I'll leave at one second. So if I scroll down, you can see all the animation here. I have my title coming in after or just around when the other animation plays out. I'll repeat the same steps for the ad copy where you see here essential hydration cream. You can see that in the timeline right under the main title. So I'll click anywhere in that layer and I want these to come in from opposite directions. So I'll choose slide in right. Once again, I'll start the animation at 1250 milliseconds and the duration will be one second as well. So I can play this out and see how it appears so far. If I click the play icon, you can see that the bottle comes in, then the main title and the ad copy and the bottle grows or zooms in very slowly. I'm really happy with the animations and the ad is looking great. Now that my animation is set for slide one, I can make my way up to the slide one drop down and choose slide two. I'll start with the main background. You could see the image of the hand holding the moisturizing cream bottle and it's at the very top of the layer stack here. So I'm just going to click anywhere there. And in this case, again, I wanna choose accents and I wanna choose zoom. I'm going to start this at 500 milliseconds. Again, that's half a second. And the duration will be 5,000, so five seconds. And again, you could see that here represented under the zoom accents animation, 5S. I want to add another animation to the main title on this slide. You could see it here. I'm going to click on that layer. I'll leave it on appearance and I'll choose slide in left. So let's do that one slide in left. I also want this to start at 500 milliseconds or half a second. And I'll leave the duration at 1000 milliseconds or one second. And finally, I'll add another accent animation to the button so it floats vertically. I'll click on the buttons layer to bring up the animation window. From here, I'll choose accents. And if I scroll down, under the floating category, I can choose either floating vertical or floating horizontal. I'll choose floating vertical. I wanna start this animation at the one second mark. So a thousand milliseconds. And here's a cool thing too. If I leave the duration at one second, I can set a repeat to this. So currently it's set to one 
I can increase the repeat value to four or five and you can see that the duration adjusts accordingly. I think I'll go back to four in this case. I'll click the play button to get a final look at all the animations on this second slide and it's looking really great. Now that all the animation has been applied, let me show you how to preview the slides together. To do that, click the play button located in the top right hand corner of the screen. This opens a separate window where I can preview how the ad will appear once it's live. You can see that all the animation on the first slide plays out until the 5 second mark, then transitions to slide 2 seamlessly and all the animation plays out there as well. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to transform your Adobe Photoshop designs into stunning animated HTML5 content using Vuest. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest tutorial content. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop and Vuest workflows, check out this video here. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.